Hey everybody, GT here from GT's Barbecue. I uh, hope everybody's doing okay. Uh, if it's your first time here, welcome. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, thanks so much. Uh, it really means a lot to the channel. Uh, if you hit that thumbs up and uh, go ahead and subscribe. So today I'm going to kind of continue on with the theme I used last week when I did the uh, depression burger. And I was thinking about value-based meals. And I was at Safeway today, and I picked up this uh, couple of uh, ahi tuna steaks. And it was, uh, I know you can't see that, but it was $6.54 for two uh, what, what appear to be pretty nice ahi tuna steaks. So I'm going to go ahead and blacken these out on my Blackstone today. It's something I've had on my list for a while. And uh, see what we get. So, you know, just experiment with things. And if you find some food on sale, get it and give it a try. So stay tuned. I'll be back here in a sec and we'll get this meat prepped up. Okay, let's give this a go. These look pretty good. I don't know if you can see that, but for seven bucks, uh, we did have a couple of smaller pieces here. These are the last two uh, ahi tuna fillets they had, but all in all, I'm pretty happy with that. So all I'm gonna do, it's really basic. I have um, some real butter, unsalted. I'm just gonna go ahead and Get these buttered up. Like so. Get these other pieces in. And again, this is designed to be a inexpensive, quick, easy meal for a Wednesday night or whatever night you want. So we have a little butter here, and I'm going to use for this just some Uncle Steve's Gator Shake. This is amazing on seafood, poultry. It has, uh, has a little lemon flavor to it. So I'm not going to overdo. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, 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 a technical term. And again, these are thin. So I'm going to go lighter than I might on a thicker piece of tuna. That looks good. Camera girl thinks it looks good. Get the other side. I always find it's better to hold the shaker a little higher so it gets a, a more even spread, but you got to be careful so you don't make a mess. Camera girl doesn't like mess. Right, camera girl? That is correct. Okay, like that. Oh yeah, these look good. Okay, so I'm going to warm my uh, Blackstone up to about 500 degrees. We're going to take these things out and uh, get them blackened. Stay tuned. I'll be back here in a sec. <laughs> So I've got my Blackstone fired up to about 500 degrees, 490, 501. Uh, so I don't know if you can see that, but uh, it's pretty hot, but not, not raging hot. So let's get some oil down here. I don't know, a couple of tablespoons, I guess. Get that spread around a little bit. And we're going to get our salmon fillets on. And again, this is just a really basic Uncle Steve shake. You use whatever you want. Some of these are a little bit thicker than others, as you can see. But we're looking for an internal temp of about 145 degrees, uh, which is considered safe. Uh, I often cook mine a little bit less. So let's let these guys go again. This is a, a $7, pretty high-end dinner, in, uh, in my opinion. We're going to have some Brussels sprouts and some quinoa with this tonight. 
so blackened simply means it's going to have a nice uh, dark crust on the outside, but on the inside it'll be uh, tender and juicy and cook to whatever doneness you want. <clears throat> you can have uh, blackened rare, blackened medium, blackened whatever. Give a little guy a turn. So there you can kind of see it's a little crusty on the outside, which is perfect. This guy's obviously going to cook faster than the others. Give this guy a little check here. And just out of curiosity, let's see what our internal temp is on the little guy. So we're already where we want to be on that guy. I'm going to pull him off. You don't want to overcook, well, anything, but especially poultry or fish, because it can actually get a little bit tough. So that's actually cooked enough. Let's turn that over. Turn that over. Let's see where we are. Not quite there yet. 125. 102 on the big one. We can let those go for a little bit. So here's what we're looking for when we say blackened. Let's take a peek at this one. So that one's plenty done. This one's almost there. And by the time you pull this off and get it inside, let it rest, it's going to climb up in temp. But that's what you're looking for when you're looking for a, a, anything that's blackened. You have this nice crust on the outside. It's a, hopefully you can see some of that juice running out of there. I'm going to put that off to the side. I'm going to let this guy go just a bit longer. But uh, yeah, ahi tuna, blackened. Wow. Seven bucks. Try to do that at Wendy's. Quick, easy. Uh, this black stone's amazing. So I've so I've got this guy right where I want, 145. You don't want to go one degree over, if at all possible. I'm going to get him off the heat. Take him inside. We'll plate it up, and we'll see what we get. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. So here's our blackened ahi tuna. It looks delicious. Very simple. Seven bucks. Mm. Oh man. Mm. I'm telling you, Uncle Steve's shake is legit. This tuna steak is a little bit dry. So it's a little bit overdone, but wow. I'm telling you, if you want to blacken something, especially fish, get some Uncle Steve shake. Uh, get that gator shake. It's got this little lemony or citrusy kind of a flavor at the end. And, uh, hmm. Okay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this a half a thumbs up. I way overcooked this. Uh, this stuff cooks so quickly. When you blacken something, man, boom, boom. Uh, I was probably only 90 seconds on either side, a little bit overdone, but it's still delicious with the crust. So lesson learned. I make the mistakes so you don't have so, to. Anyway, I'm a backyard guy. This is my uh, real cook. This is the way it came out. Uh, but I, I can't say enough about the flavor. So anyway, uh, as always, everybody stay safe. And if you're so inclined, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.